Do you, do you need to breathe? Do you need to breathe? <laughs> I do, yes. We are joined by UC Santa Cruz head coach Gabrielle Houston, student athletes Shanae Bopain, Sydney Arendt, and team spirit animal Sammy. Coach Houston, an opening statement, please. Um, yeah, this was a great experience. Um, super proud of the team making it here. We have had a really successful season. Um, I think one of the most challenging seasons just because we were on the road so much. So we, we did win all of our D3 matches on the road. Um, huge accomplishment for, for the program um, and for this team. But I'm, I'm just really proud of how we got here. We've gone through a lot of adversity, but the way the team is together, um, the, just the camaraderie that they have, the respect they have for the game, um, how much they, they love the game, they love each other. It's, um, it's just really apparent, even with wins and losses, um, the most important thing is, is how we come out of it as a team and everyone's great people. I'm just super proud of them. Awesome. So coach, what are you most proud about how you guys played tonight specifically? Tonight, um, just the, the fight, you know, we came out super, super strong and uh, UT Dallas <laughs> didn't have a chance against that first set. Um, I think they came alive in the second set, but um, just really proud of, of how we, we played our game. You know, we talk about serving a lot. I think we serve really tough. Um, uh, the 5-1 is new for us, and I think just adapting the way we adapted and, um, and Sinead, you know, being, being in the front row and being a blocker uh, she hasn't done that all season. She only has one match under her belt uh, running the 5-1. So I am just, you know, the, the proudest of just how adapt they just adapted and, and just went for it. And um, I think that that's, you know, that that is this team. We adapt and we play hard. Yeah. Awesome. So we're going to pass the mic to Shanae. Congratulations on an amazing career at UC Santa Cruz. When you look back at your time, what do you think you'll look back on with the most fondness? Hmm. I would say just traveling with this team this season. Um, I met some of my best friends on this team, and we really do have the best like relationships on the team. We all support each other through everything. I've met some of my housemates through this team, and I just have the best time. And that's just something I really wanted coming out of this college experience. It's something that I valued was having lifelong fr friendships out of this. So, yeah. Awesome. Our next question is for Sydney. You know, you're a junior and you're going to come back next year. What good things do you take away from this match, this NCAA opening round, to translate to next year? I'm so excited for next year. I've seen people on this team do things I've never seen them before. Um, like Coach Gabby said, like there's been wins and losses, and especially this game. There are highs and lows, and next year this just set the tone. We're hitting the ground with our feet running. Um, each year we've gotten closer and closer to the NCAAs and this year we made it and next year I want to win. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Okay, back to you coach. What sort of momentum does making it to the NCAA championship give your, to your program? Yeah, so that was, it's always been, when I first came to UCSC that was always the goal, right? Get, get our foot in the door. I said, you know, get us to the dance. Um, so we made it uh, this year and it just, once again, just like Sydney said, it just sets the tone. So now like every year it's like we're going to want to be here and then just get one step closer, one step further and um, that's, that's it. It's just building. We're just constantly building and, and taking one step further. So I think it just, I think it, it will fuel our returners and now they have a taste and so we'll want to be back here. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Our next set of questions will be coming from the UC Santa Cruz Sports Information Office. And here you go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Great match, ladies. Uh, questions for both Coach Houston and uh, Sydney. Mm -hmm. uh, Sydney had a career high in kills t today. Uh, talk about uh, running the offense through her. What did you see today? And uh, can we expect more of that uh, next year? <laughs> yeah, so um, we did a little bit of scouting, you know, UT. And um, we saw that we would score a lot on, on the right side. So that was one of our um, game plans was to set Sydney a lot of balls today. 
um, from front row and back row. So that was a new thing too. Once again, um, having a back row attack, a D ball um, from our right side. And um, she was a big part of the game plan. Um, I think she delivered 22 kills. She hit a 326, I mean, off of 46 attempts. I mean, she, she had more attempts than our outsides. Um, our biggest kill leader, I mean, just full on championship play today from Sydney, and she did everything we asked her to do. Yeah. Uh, last question, uh, Ms. Bopin. Uh, if you could tell your sixth grade self that you'd go to a great university, go to the NCAA tournament, finish in the top five in both uh, aces and assist, uh, or, or what would you tell your your sixth grade self who was just starting volleyball, what the volleyball life would be for her? I would tell her to keep following her passion and that everything that you sacrifice to play volleyball is worth it. And I'm coming out of my season completely satisfied with my entire journey, and I couldn't be more proud. Good. Good. Thank you, ladies. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you all for being here tonight. All Congratulations right. on a great season, and safe travels back to Santa Cruz. Thank, Thank you. you.